Welcome back to Sports Final Edition. I'm joined by some special guests, and this all came about because I met you, Andrew Bryle, out of One Flame when I did a story on a really precious girl named Peyton from Make-A-Wish. And of course, if you, you know, are a Michigan fan, you know the guy in the middle, Devin Gardner and Ramon Taylor, former Wolverines. But look at that ring that's shining from afar. <laughs> yeah, so you still have blue and amazing blue in your blood. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about why you're here. Something really special is coming up, a three-on-three -three basketball tournament. Yeah, um, so it's, I know you mentioned through Peyton, um, what it is, it's for the Make-A-Wish. It's hosted by One Flame, which is my uh, my company. Um, it's a youth seventh and eighth grade three and three basketball tournament, and 100% of the proceeds from the general admission tickets go right to Peyton. Um, her make or Make-A-Wish wish, I guess you can call it, is to go see Mickey Mouse at Disney World. Um, mm. Yeah, so we're trying to do everything we can to make that happen, and that's uh, we do a lot of festivals through sporting festivals, flag football, basketball, and we're trying to get into the music festival space as well. Um, but through doing these events, that's where I met Devin at our past uh, flag football tournament, and okay. he came up to us after. He's like, we're having fun. Let's, yeah. you know, let's, let's, keep let's it see rolling. something in the future. So, yeah. Now, it's for 7th and 8th graders, and prior to knowing that, I wondered if, Devin, you were going to play in oh, yeah, it. I'm probably and you still going to play in it, just to be honest. <laughs> you have no you know. shame. You block a 7th grader. Absolutely. <laughs> like, I, I train a lot of young kids, and so uh, any, if any of them see this, they'll be like, oh, yeah, he'll definitely play. <laughs> guys, so, yeah. Why get involved with something like this, Devin? This well, so, I mean, basketball, not football. Tell me. I mean, exactly. This is kind of like my passion. This, this is what I've always wanted to do, and so I kind of figured it out while I was in college. And uh, through college, my freshman year and all the way through, I went to uh, my children's hospital on Thursdays to, to visit with the kids and stuff. And then when Ramon came, uh, when, when I was a sophomore, you know, I kind of brought him along. And a lot of us football players went and uh, would just see the kids, right, because it's, it's such a tough time for young kids. And I don't think they deserve to go through it, right? And so it's good for you to come as a figure that they might see. They may not know or they may know uh, to kind of give them a, a glimmer of hope. And, and, and I love doing it, so. I love that when athletes do things for good. Yeah. It is so fantastic. Good Ramon, is good, right? Good, yeah. <laughs> good is good. R Ramon, you are going to be there at the tournament. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I'll be there uh, okay. with the uh, seventh, eighth graders. Same kind of thing. You just love trying to help the community and 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 do stuff like that. Yeah. So anything for the uh, youth. Also, I also train uh, a lot of kids. So anything with the youth, I'm all in for it. Okay, yeah. and what is the ring again? 2011-2012 uh, Sugar Bowl when we won the University. It's a very Mix. nice ring. Yeah, Sparkling <laughs> from yeah. afar. And Devin, the last time I saw you, you were helping the Chad Tuff Foundation Absolutely. judge uh, uh, yeah. Dancing with the Michigan Stars. Mm -hmm. You said I did well. Yeah, you yeah. did do well. I mean, you do, you do not have two left feet, so. <laughs> Thank you very much. Had to get that in. Give us the details of this event. Yeah, so March 14th at the All-Star Sports Center, which is in New Baltimore, Michigan. Um, it starts at 11 a.m. Um, you can register for the event. It has to be 7th and 8th grade. Younger kids can play up if they can. I know there's some big, uh, yeah. big younger kids these days, so we won't uh, count them out. But uh, you can register at www.1-flame.com. Okay. Okay. Um, and like I said, 100% of the general admission tickets goes directly towards Pey Payton's Wish. Um, we're trying to get her to Disney World, just like Patty Mahomes. I mean, don't uh -huh. we all want to go to Disney World? Though, I mean. I'm going to talk about Peyton, rerun the story, because I think you all should see it. She's precious, and I have special guests coming up about that. But you know D'Antonio laugh. What do you Michigan guys think about that? Who are they going to get? I mean, you know, I don't know who they're going to get, but, you know, he run his course, yeah. obviously. Oh. Uh, but uh, he did a really good job there. You can only respect what he what he did at the university. Uh, we don't know all the details on why he left and things like that. But I think his legacy legacy for the most part will be that he was he he, he took something that Mike Hart said and he changed it into fuel and and he was a master motivator for a team that didn't always have the best talent and he always got went out and got it done. Yeah, mm -hmm. college football playoff was great. You guys are great for what you're yeah. doing. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. All right, Thank get so a much. Go Blue and we'll sign out. Go Blue. Go blue. <laughs>